got a great deal of run out in it. What it's going to be is an oil skimmer. I've got no idea whether it's going to work or not. It's just a windscreen motor. I've got to build another bit more of a frame down here to attach to another roller. And then there'll be a scraper. Not too sure what side. So as it comes around, the oil will scrape down and end up in a tray and then drain off into a container. So the idea of this will be that I can just dip the end into the the foot of the Cincinnati and take the tramp oil off the top of the coolant. I know you can buy these. They're not that dear, but they're not that cheap either. I just saw pretty plain turning. That's why I didn't sort of talk at the start. Just sort of got into it and got it done. This is a tube out of a ride-on lawnmower front wheel um, just cut it up and yeah just sort of trim the sides off so it's pretty raggedy now if this turns out to be no good I'll probably get a serpentine belt and build another pulley I'm hoping this will work it doesn't have to have a lot of pressure on it just enough to make it grip and go round 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 I'm hoping it's going to work anyway, try and save the coolant a bit more because uh, Cincinnati is a total loss system, basically. Um, the, yeah, the oil just comes out of the way, ends up dripping off, ends up on the foot and into the coolant. There we go. That's what we're going to build. That's what we're going to attempt to build anyway. All right, we'll make the bottom roller, I reckon. Got a couple of old bearings here which are going to do the job, just 6202s, they're going to go in there. So I've got to open this up, take these bearings, and the very last I'll bulk this out which will take me time because it won't be holding on by much at all while it's in the truck. Like this is all just a prototype. If this was a finished job, I'd be pretty embarrassed. I'm not concerned about the surface finish or anything on, on any of this job really. If it does work, I may leave it, I may rebuild it and build it better, I don't know. So, it's going to be a bit of a bugger to do.
Well, I just quickly finished that off. Believe it or not, one end's got a sleeve in it because I overcut the bars by about three mil. <laughs> it's that end there, you can just see the difference in the material. That doesn't matter. But there's the two rollers. They're not exactly the same, but they'll do. I just got to build the leg now to hold this and an axle for that. I may have to put bigger rings on the end here and on the roller here as well to retain the belt. So the belt got, it may want to walk off, that's what I'm trying to say. Right yeah, we're going to start work on the, um, the arm that holds the bottom, the bottom roller. Just a piece of angle. Just going to put a slot in it. It'll slide up over the main mounting plate that the um, wiper motor is attached to. You'll see it in a moment anyway. So I just want to put a quarter inch slot. Now you pick a mark up here. So the theory behind that slot was going to sit like that. This will sit up in there like that and be welded. And then the bottom roller, just without everything falling off, will be down here. This morning I just made up a couple extra, made these a bit wider so the belt doesn't want to ride up on the edge and come off. I'll probably have to do the same on the bottom one as well. well excuse the mess on the, the mess on the bench, but I can cut this off now, this piece of angle, and then start building the axle to hold this bearing in place. There's no real load on it really, so it'll be right. I'm going to put a 9 16 fine thread on here, 9 16 18. Change the battery over in the camera, it went flat. So I was winding this on. That worked out perfect. I need an 8mm spacer to go between there. This is a piece that I made for the winch, which was meant to be in bronze or brass. So I didn't read the plan properly and made it out of the wrong material. But it'll work. Let's put the machine it down to 8mm. That'll do as a spacer. Yeah. So what I've gone ahead and done is I've put a like a uh, a crown on these two pulleys. It was ten. It was wanting to walk off all the time. Now it still does a bit. So what I reckon I'm going to have to do when I Put the um, when I put the piece on here that's going to collect the oil, it may have to become a bit of a guide as well. I reckon a lot of it's coming back to this rubber because it's uneven and it's just wanting it like it's not too bad, it's, it just tracks not as good as I'd like it to track. Okay, the card got full on the camera, so while it was downloading on the computer, I added this piece of angle here. Just to see if it's going to work. This will catch the oil, run off in a container. I'm going to get a couple of bits of flat 
just as guides to guide the belt so it doesn't want to run off almost ready to trial it I reckon so I'll get them a um, couple of bits of flat on and then yeah we'll go over to Cincinnati and see if it's going to work got you just see the bar there that goes up and it clamps to the to the table so you can move it up and down in and out to get it into the hole properly does it work yep Picks up a little bit of coolant, but that's obviously got oil and everything in it too. As you can see, it's, it's picking up a bit of oil. It's possibly spinning a bit fast. Hence why it's picking up a bit of coolant, but it's definitely picking up a lot of oil. It's a little bit embarrassing to even show this on YouTube, because it's a pretty ugly design, I can assure you. But it works. You see the oil coming off the belt. And it's scraping the belt clean. It's something you don't use all the time. Probably, I don't know, once a fortnight, I suppose. Chuck it in the tank, clean it out. It's definitely pulling some oil off it, though, I can tell you. The belt seems to be tracking all right with these couple of guides on it. I was a bit dubious about the rubber belt just wanting to slip um, being fairly stretchy the way it is I thought with a bit of oil on it might want it might want to slip pretty easy it's still running now and it's pulled a hell of a lot of oil off the top of the, the coolant I think the theory of having it on the table where I can adjust the table to get it into the you know into the coolant um, that's a well, that's proven to be working pretty good. Um, I've got it running on a... I did have it run on an 18 volt Makita battery. I've changed that over to a 12.8 volt battery Makita one. Because the motor was getting fairly hot with 18... It's only a 12 volt motor. So, probably didn't like having 18 volts up its ass. I think I'll stuff around with it a bit more. Clean it up. Pretty it up, give it a coat of jam, and it'll probably make it look completely different again. Well, I gave it a coat of jam last night and um, put it back together again, and it actually don't look too bad the way it is. I think we'll just leave it as it is. Call this job done. It's amazing when a bit of black paint makes a difference. And uh, runs off a little Makita battery. I think that'll do. Pretty happy the way that all worked out in the end. I was a bit disappointed the way it looked before, but it looks good now. Yeah, I hope someone got something out of that and gives them a bit of inspiration to have a crack at making their own. I, I know you can buy them, but they're fairly pricey. So, and if you got the gear, why not try and make one? So anyway, a bit of a scattered video, but that's what happens when you just making shit up as you go and that's exactly what I've done this time thanks for watching